I'm your host, Chris, and this is the Poop911.com Poopcast. Dog owners everywhere will no doubt agree that one of the most annoying things their precious pooch does on occasion is get into the trash. Picture the scene. You return home from a quick trip out. Maybe for a chai latte or a quick visit at an ATM. You open the door and Sheldon sits serenely on his fluffy dog bed. His tail is wagging and his body is wiggling, but he won't make eye contact with you. That's never a good sign. As you make your way into the kitchen or the bathroom, you discover why Sheldon has exuded that air of shame. It's everywhere. The trash. And its remains have been chewed, strewed, and oh no, Sheldon, why are you so rude? Since dogs originally hail from wolves, they have an instinct that urges them to seek out food. In fact, many wolf packs, dating back thousands of years, lived just outside of villages so they could scavenge for food. Surely Sheldon is well fed, however, so why is he scavenging? There might be a few reasons. If this happens frequently, consult your veterinarian. It could be a medical issue like Cushing's disease, which can make dogs ravenous. It can also be because your dog is seeking even more of your attention. Dogs are smart, and they know they get added attention when they misbehave. And finally, it may just smell good, and it's there. Kitchen trash typically contains wrappers with bits of food that you may not smell, but your dog does. Bathroom trash can have used feminine hygiene products and dirty tissues, both of which are tempting to Sheldon's palate. Ew. Anxiety can also be a reason your canine cohort gobbles up and makes a mess of your trash. Talk to your vet about possible separation anxiety. Of course, no one likes to admit the dog has gotten the better of them, but sometimes pet owners have to admit defeat. That's not always the case, however, especially if you try these things. Number one is exercise. Wear him out. When your dog is run, jumped, and played adequately, it's less likely he will think of rummaging through the trash. Next, you can keep his mouth busy. Giving him something to chew or lick might just do the trick. Give him a bone or fill his kong with peanut butter. And finally, you can implement the leave it command. It takes practice and should start with treats. Once he builds up his ability to leave it, use the command while pointing to the trash before you leave the house. What do many dog owners do to solve the trash can dilemmas? They either buy trash cans that can be locked or they put the trash up on a counter out of reach or in a room with a closed door. Yeah, sometimes the dog wins. But when he's cuddling with you or licking your face upon your return home you'll realize who the actual winner is, and that's you. Thanks for listening to the latest Poop 911 Poopcast. For more, go to poop911.com, check us out on Facebook, or your favorite podcast provider. As always, your dog's business is our business. 